Hello everyone, my name is Cap and welcome back to the channel. We're on day 35 of our Darkness Falls series here in 7 Days to Die. And we have a Horde Night tonight. I can't say I didn't do nothing last night like I normally did. Let's see, I made some cooked chili, I made some orange tea, and some orange juice because people keep telling me how good they are and they look pretty fantastic. I mean, 60 water and 3 wellness for some orange tea. That is not too shibby at all. Uh, let's see, I made a stack of iron bars because I'm going to try and add that to my rapport of crap over in the base for the Horde Knight. Let's see, anything over here? No, no, I made a, I think I made one Molotov. I need a bunch of grain alcohol and I don't have any of that. I did have somebody ask me about making the oil pump because that was kind of one of those things. Hey, that would be good for getting your own oil. It's locked behind the Master Mechanic class and I haven't been able to be able to unlock that one just yet. Also... Just in case, if you happen to notice that I sound a little bit different or whatever, just know that in my right eye, um, one of my eyelashes decided to go rogue and is... What the? Holy hell, what are you doing out? Oh god, that ain't cool. Okay, we're in the middle of the daytime here. Alright. Uh-huh. No, don't shoot me, you dumbasses. <laughs> Lois, would you die so they stop shooting? Okay, that's a good way to start the day. We got hit by a freaking Night Stalker in the middle of the day. A little bit of ammo, shotgun parts, shotgun receiver, and some steel leg armor. That is not terrible stuff. Okay, before I was so rudely interrupted by some dude charging at me, I have an eyelash on my right eye that went rogue and just decided to rebel against me and stab me in the eye. And so if you notice me kind of different or whatever, that might be why. Also, let's see, I made... Okay, so it's still making some. It's going to take a little while here. I made a decent chunk of concrete mix so we can get some of these blocks upgraded a little bit further. We have some concrete blocks over here as is, but we're going to have to do some repairs to some of them. That way I can at least kind of top them off. They didn't do that much to the concrete blocks last time at all. I mean, a few little dings here and there where they kind of slapped them a little bit, but that's about it. They didn't do anything else to them, fortunately. So... We don't have to do a whole lot of repairs on there, but what that'll allow us to do is to be able to fully upgrade blocks like this so that when they start doing more stupid crap and trying to ruin our day. All right, so it's only 7 o'clock in the morning. If I get these upgraded like this, they should have more than enough time to dry before tonight. At least I hope so. This should... Let me see. I should probably... Hang on, hang on, hang on. Let me do it here for structural interior. Let me get the one on the ends first before I start going out towards the middle, just in case. All right, that is good to go. So if we can get as much crap upgraded as possible today, um, early on, then what I'll do is I'm gonna go try and get these two treasures, and we still have this supply thing we have to go get for Eve from the last one. It's way down that way, but it's only about a kilometer. See, on the map itself, where they want us to go is right down around here somewhere. It's not actually on the map. I had to just mark it myself. But we got these two treasure maps, and we've got some good stuff from the treasure. So it would behoove me to at least go over there. Need to clear up some of this lag-inducing crap that they keep leaving on my base. Bunch of nastiness here. And I need to redo this section right here. For some reason, I thought I had already done that. But we need to put a block right here and upgrade that. And I need to get rid of this block. This is originally where I had um, Sledgy over here trying to do some work. But it just, all it did was it provided another step. Now, you can have Sledgy down a half a block or a full block lower than the zombies. And it will attack them. I did that in my Wasteland Warrior series. Worked out fantastically. Kind of launches them off at an angle. It's great. But uh, from where I was at there, they just saw that as a step. They hopped on there and they tried to jump up to where I was. And that's where some of the problems actually started was when they decided to jump in there. The rest of everything else here, these did pretty good. They did fine. They didn't really take that much damage. It was just this one block. Once this one was gone, then those idiots got inside and the party was over. So what I need to do is I need to get these upgraded more because we're getting more cops showing up. They're doing a, a, a lot of work on trying to piss me off, really. So we can get at least kind of the uh, surrounding area here knocked, uh, blocked up here so that it, it can take a couple more hits. Damn, we got a lot of concrete. We're going to be able to get like way more than what we originally expected. But if we can at least get the front part here done, then we're good. And, of course, I need to do some repairs and some upgrades. I do have some cobblestone on me, too, so I could finish upgrading the rest of this room. Let me do that real quick. 
All right, got the rest of this room upgraded to cobblestone. So we're pretty okay on that. I think I got all the blocks that got a tiny little bit of damage repaired and the rest of them upgraded all the way through. Um, now we still have the... I should probably get these corner ones here just in case. I don't want the birds thinking they can come at me here. We have had some birds make it inside here. So I added an extra block here and upgraded that. So the top is only one here. Now they can still squeeze in through here if they need to. But I need to be able to have a way to get in and out of this spot. What I really need to do is I need to redo the way I'm doing this here. Let me upgrade that. Actually, let me just do that. That would probably behoove me. Okay, so these are drying pretty quickly. Actually, and I think they're not. I'm just hallucinating. All right, let me get the rest of these here. Okay, hopefully those will be dry before the Horde night tonight. So what I'm going to try to do is I'm going to try to set up a spot or two because I gave myself eight bars. So I can do two front back, two high. And then I can, um, that'll slow them down considerably. Give me a couple places to do some shots. So if I do like right here, let me sco scooch like right there on both sides of it. See, this is going to be in this block and then rotate it and put it there. Then I'll have this first wall here that they have to try and get past. And by having that, that'll slow them down. And then I can do another one like right here on the edge of these two blocks. And so when they do get up, I can uh, you know, have some time to do it. Let me do this block first. Let me see. We're going to do like that and put one on top and then if i rotate around like that and then like that okay so that's too high now so i can jump on top of this and get over but when they saunter over here and they get up to this block they can't jump to this just yet and i'll be standing right there and able to just patow shoot them right there in the face hole and call it good so i don't know if i'm going to do hang on i think what i need to do here is to add an extra step and then i can do the bars right here like that get on this side rotate around like that and like that and then upgrade this one all the way and now when they get to this point and they get ready to do it now they have to beat through these bars they will make it through them these do have a high level of durability but again it's to slow them down long enough for me to shoot over there and for the traders to shoot at them as well and yeah, then we should be okay. I'm, and I'm going to put a bunch of wood spikes and stuff around here again like we have been doing. Wait, did I just see a... Hold on. I, where, okay, so you... I could probably upgrade you a little bit further. I've got plenty of iron on me now since we did all that mining. So I should probably upgrade my spikes a little bit further. So yeah, I'm, I'm, uh, I'm going to go ahead and say it now early that I'm confident... And our base being better than it was last time. It was working really, really good last time. Up until those Night Stalkers broke through that one block. That I sh I shouldn't have put Sledgy on that side of it. And I really need to pay attention to what I'm doing over here. Um, I need to get him put where I want him before I do anything else. I, I'm gonna, let me see. I can figure this out. They may... No, I don't think that they won't make that jump. They'll actually path find the right direction here. So I can make this jump, but I don't think they can. So what I need to have is I need to have Sledgy over on this side, like right here, but one block down. No, 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 I don't need to have it right there. I need to have it on this side so that um, if they we do get some demolishers, it won't hit the no-no button. So I could technically put it right, like a half block right here and put it up. So if they do make it to this part, it'll hit them and launch them that way. Now, I know the Night Stalkers won't do anything i know it won't do anything for them let me see i mean it's it doesn't seem to uh, go after them at all so i think what i can do is i can do a half block like this uh what are the odds it's going to rotate the way i want it to the first whoops wrong button wrong way let's see get up like right there actually hang on let me do let me get down on the bottom here like that and then if I remove this block and this block, I'm not going to move it just yet. But what I'll do is get this one upgraded, like right here. I don't have any more cobblestone, really? Oh, well, okay. No big deal. Uh, sure. And then I can put you, like, right here. Right there. Right there. Like that. And so what he'll do is any of them that do actually make it up to this point... Even to this point right here, he'll circle around and start targeting them and launch them back that direction. And if they do get up here, he can launch them off 
while they are trying to do their thing. And then I can move this one right there out of the way so they don't see this as a step. So even if they do go over here, they're not going to do anything to him. They're not going to come after him specifically. So that should be okay. It, it should. I'm, I'm saying that with a little bit of trepidation because I'm for, I know for a fact that there's zombies I have not even seen yet. And who knows what kind of crap we could possibly run into. I do need to top these off real quick. Some of them took a little bit of damage. Check the lower wall here in case some of them did get a little tappy tap. I don't want them to see any of these as a weakness. Now, something I have been considering doing is getting like a shotgun turret, an automated shotgun turret, and put it on top so it can help me out with the stupid birds. But even if I get, even if I go buy a shotgun turret and I get the ammo and stuff for it and wire it, battery bank, all that happy jazz that goes along with it. Um, oh yeah, I don't have any more cobblestone to be able to repair those kinds of things. Okay, no big deal. Um, it, there's a lot I have to have to get up there. So what I could do is I could put spikes on top of it. If I get all the way up there to the very top and I put some spikes on the very top of that place, then it should help them stop from trying to land on top of it. And if they do come down, they'll at least hit it. So we need to go make some wood spikes. Actually, let me see how many I need to make real quick. Uh, this area over here, we only lost, let me see, we lost two over here, none over there, and none over there. If we make another, I don't know, 12 for up top, we can at least start with that. So let me just make an even 20. And if I have, actually, let me make an even like 30 here. And uh, we should be okay with that. I've got plenty of wood. There's a whole bunch of trees if I do, you know, run out of um, steel log. I'm just going to make the wood log spikes and then I can upgrade those as I need to. 30, that won't take very long. Oh, while I'm doing that, I have a whole bunch of cobblestone right here. I completely forgot it was even in there. Okay, while I'm waiting for that to do that, let me see. Do I have anything? Oh, I do have some stuff in here to sell. Okay, I'm going to take all of this because I think day 35, which we see is nice and lit up in red now. Day 35 means that the trader should have reset his crap. And also, I need to knock down the wall right there and I need to check... Okay, so I got, I think I was kind of working, oh, I can't do that. Uh, let me see, I need to check and see if she's got a good line of sight. I need to check the traders to make sure they're okay. The ones that are up on the walkways there, I can't get rid of the walkway or they'll just fall down. But right over there, I might be able to knock the spikes away in front of them and just hope to God I don't actually hit them. But we can at least go in here and see what he has first. We'll buy pretty much all the ammo he has, see if he's got anything good for us. Are you friendly? I'm very friendly. Okay, good to go. Let's see what he has on him, if he has anything that we just have to have. 762 ammo, we'll go ahead and buy all of that. 44 mag ammo, we'll buy all that. Shotgun turret, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and buy one, even if I can't get it wired up. I'm not sure if I have the stuff for it, but I'd rather have it not need it than, you know, need it and not have it, that whole thing. 762 ammo, I can buy all of that. Let's see, my 762, I'm using... The, uh, am I even using? I, I'm not sure if I'm using something with that. Shotgun shells. I should probably buy all that, especially if I'm going to try and hook up some sort of thing on there. 9mm, buy all of that. Alright, so we got a decent chunk of things. We're low on money now, but we did get a shotgun turret. I think we have a battery. We might have a battery bank. I know we have wiring tools. So it's pretty much just making sure I get uh, some sort of power source. Let me see if he has any sort of battery for either one of the nope okay so well it'd probably help if i spelled it he, it's not a nattery oh no he don't have it anyway okay well that's not too that's bad all you're gonna buy. that's all i'm gonna buy show yourself, i'll show myself right on out i don't believe i have any form of battery bank at all um also for the traders up there there's stairs they can get up no they, they can't even get up on this side there's like a ladder on that side but over here I need to knock down, just in case he decide to get a little bit overzealous. Um, I should probably not have done that specifically. Okay, so I need to get to the middle section area over here so I can knock down the wall. Let's see, you're okay. You've got, you've got line of sight. I'm going to leave you alone. You're doing all right. Now, the dude that's in here... You, these are, these are little, I know you've got these arrow slits here. Those are kind of nice, but unless somebody's standing directly in front of you, you can't do anything. Let me see, what are the odds I can, uh, maybe with the right tool, I can at least get rid of one here. Okay, that should be good enough. Now you've got a good line of sight that direction, so anybody running around out here or coming from this direction, you should be able to handle it. I'm not going to worry about from that way. I'll wait till you get a little bit closer. Are you good? Dude, you look awesome. I want your freaking mask. That is awesome right there. 
All right, lady. Uh, excuse me. I don't think I can get to that spot over there f from here. Can I? I have to go up, around, and then jump down. See, I can't get rid of this because it'll hurt him. This is all like one piece. Oh hell, that was that was what I was trying to do. In case you were wondering, that's that's it right there. I was trying to fall off. Stupid. Our wood spike should be done. Oh man, look at that maze of awesomeness right there. Wood spike should be done, and we can start putting them up here around the base. I'll get the ones down below, and then I'll use the remaining ones to um, put up on top if I can. Let's see, do a copy rotation, put you right there and right there. Hello? Okay. Also, so there's something I keep forgetting, and I'm absolutely, you know, I've mentioned this before, I am freaking terrible at self-promotion because I just, A, I forget about it all the time, and B, I just don't do it. For whatever reason, I'm terrible at self-promotion. If you don't follow me on any form of social media, uh, Discord, Twitter, Instagram, many of those places, because I've, whoops, I don't mean to do that, but okay. I've shared this everywhere now. For anybody that wants to see it, they can see it. I have been working with Artesian Builds. You know, I'm partnering with them. You can get gaming PCs built by them. And, um, you know, you can save some money. They build it live on Twitch. They do fantastic jobs. They've already built one machine for me. They're going to do another. Okay, so you've heard me talk about them. Well, I'll put a picture of up on sc uh, screen while I'm kind of working here so you guys can see it. But I've been working with them for a little bit. And I have a custom mouse pad, a custom gaming pad that has my logo and my information on it and i'll put a picture of it here it's 36 inches by 16 inches and what it is it's a gaming pad just like you see a lot of people using it's big enough to put your keyboard your mouse on there there's the standard version and then there's the rgb version and both of those are available um, and also if you do decide you want to get one uh, the link is going to be in the video description down below, of course, like normal. But if you decide to get one and you use my code, CAP00, at checkout, it'll save, you know, 10% on the purchase as well. Um, I know quite a few people have already purchased some, and that's fantastic. And um, I know that they're in the process. They have, to, they have to make them in a batch, basically. So I know they're in the process of still making some of those. So... If you ordered one and you haven't got it yet, they're still in the processing there. But if you're about to order one, they should be to the point where they're almost done. If not completely done. So, basically, if you're interested, link's going to be in the video description down below. It's a custom Cap00 mouse pad. It's got my logo on the side. It says Cap00 Robing on the bottom. Some cool stylus letters that are the Artesian art department made for me. And it says at the top, you know, my phrase, uh, Shh, you saw nothing. So... If it's something you want and you want to, you know, rep Cap Nation with a cool mouse pad for your desk, go get one. And if you do get one and you once you finally get one or whatever, let me know. I'd be curious. I'd like I'd like to see those. I, I want to see what they look like when you get them and your setup here, basically. So, you know, if and or when you order one and you get one, you know, uh, send me a picture in Discord or on Twitter or wherever you follow me on social media if you do. Uh, I need to be real careful about that one. And let me see what it looks like, because I'd be curious as to how good they look with your current setups, basically what I'm trying to say. I mean, where do I have these? These, like I should be able to do this, and I'm going to stop right there so I can be able to get in and out of here. I need to upgrade all of these, actually. But anyway, that's one of those, I like I said, I'm terrible at self-promotion. I keep forgetting. I don't know how often people actually look in the video description to see the links and things that's in there, but... That's where I put links to everything. So if you if you want to get a computer built, they do those. If you want a mouse pad, it's down there. If you want to see any of the... I'm out of wood? Holy crap. If you want to see what gaming gear I use, what my equipment is, there's a link for that in there. It shows all the stuff I use for all my recording and streaming and all that happy crap. All of that is in there for you to go check out if you want to. There's no obligation, of course. It's fully up to you. Um, but... Again, I'm terrible at self-promotion, so I wanted to make sure you guys knew about those. Okay, um, I'm going to check real quick. I don't think I have the necessary stuff to make a, uh, to be able to automate this. Let's see, I don't have, I do have a battery, and I have, let's see, I probably would have put it under tools. I've got 
plenty of wiring kits, but I don't have a battery bank. So what I'm going to have to do is that's going to have to be a thing for next time. And maybe next time what I can do is get the um, shotgun turret and stuff set up and ready to go. All right, I'm going to go ahead. I need to make get some bacon and eggs in me, get some of that food back up. Got plenty of that. Let's see, this will raise the water up a little bit. Go ahead and use some orange juice, get the wellness back up. All right, let me drop all of this stuff off in here. Right at the moment, I'll have to pick some of this back up right before the Horde Night starts, but that way I'm at least not running around with it right now. I don't want my inventory completely full of crap that I can't use just yet. Uh, let's see. All of this stuff, I'll just put right over here so I know where it's at. You guys just remember, if I start looking for it and I can't find it, I'll put it over here. Why can't I grab you? Uh, this I'll just hang on to... This I'll put down here, and I'll put down there too. Keep some cobblestone on me. We have enough to do some work. I'll keep all that on me for tonight anyway to be able to do some repairs. But now we've got a good seven hours before the horde shows up. And I'm confident. Fully confident. But right at the moment, I want to go over and see if we can't get one of these treasures here. So I'm going to do a temporary quick spot right there so I can see it. It's not too far. Plenty of gas. Uh, durability is not too bad. So let's just get down here real quick and see if we can't find this first treasure. Who knows? Maybe we'll find what we need and we can get a, a shotgun turret set up very early tonight. But let's get down here first. All right. Other than a couple stupid birds, stay. That wasn't too terrible. Ooh, orange tree. I'm going to go get this real quick because it's here. It's free oranges. Three of them, a little bit of wood. Uh, what are tomato plants? Sure, let me go ahead and just finish you off. I could get the extra wood there. Anyway. All right, so now we got to do a little bit of digging, and maybe we can get lucky. This is a very large area compared to the normal dig quests. Oh, great. Hold on, we got to deal with him real quick. Okay, real quick it is. So we're going to try and see if we get lucky, and we're going to start around the southwest corner like we normally do and see if we get lucky. So let's just get to digging. There it is. All right, so I need to make sure I can get out of here real quick. I dug myself into a little bit of a pit, so I need to get a quick, fast, and hurry fashion. It wasn't in the southwest corner, but it wasn't too far over. So at least when we started there, it didn't take us very long to get to it. So that's at least kind of a good thing. All right, can I just, just in case? Okay, good to go. Got our handy dandy lock pick. Let's get in here and get this real quick. Might have enough time to go get the other one if it's not too far. And it's open. See if there's anything good in there. A little bit of money and a ding-dong knocker. Actually, it's a decent chunk of money and a ding-dong knocker. But we don't need that ding-dong knocker. We have our own. And we don't really use those anyway. Now, where did I park my bike? Down this way. Well, at least we got rid of one of them. We got the experience for it. We got some more clay and crap. All right, so let me see how far... Whoops, wrong button. Let me see how far away the other one is. This one's way over there. I'm not quite sure... If we're going to have enough time to get all the way over there, plus do the digging and stuff that we need to, we might be better suited if we wait on that one. Because um, what we could do is after the Horde Night the next day, we could go hit up this, go get the reward, and make our way back towards Eve and see what she has for us. So I guess we can kind of start heading back and start getting our things put together that we need to get ready for the Horde Night. We found this house that we drove past on the way over here that was just kind of tucked away in a hill. It's kind of cool. I don't know anything about it, but... Ooh, hang on real quick. There's a cement mixer out front. Maybe it's got something in it. It's destroyed, but a uh, little bit of concrete. Hey, free concrete's always cool. It doesn't have the same ring as free wood, but... Ooh, what are you? A rifle notes. <laughs> that was worth stopping for. Sweet. All right, maybe this road swings back around and we don't have to deal with going over the mountains. We do seem to take the most complicated path we possibly can every single time we go anywhere, so it would be nice to stay on a road once. Oh no, it's that time of the day again. Okay, so it's a good thing I didn't go the other direction. How much crap do you have in your inventory? Nothing. Sweet, I can just pick you up and take you home. But I didn't bring my bike or my, my bicycle with me, so I'm going to have to try and hoof it. 
Uh, we got a little bit of a walk. This seems eerily familiar. I've, I was thinking, I remembered 8. And so I was thinking 8 o'clock, as in 20, not 1800. That's just my bad. That, that's just my, can I drive the garbage truck? I should have brought my bicycle. It's a good thing I didn't go the other direction. I'd be in the same predicament I was last time. I'm still so used to the years of playing vanilla in which, you know, you could drive your vehicle pretty much all the way up to the horde. Not a big deal. And yeah, I just kind of forgot. Good Lord, look how tall my trees are that I planted. Things are enormous. It's almost like two trees stacked on top of each other. That's sweet. All right, well, let's just get home then. All right, well, easy peasy. I think what I'm going to probably do just to make sure, since because I'm really low on wood, I have just a little bit. Oh, I need to make sure I read this real quick. Um, okay, read it from my hot bar. Go ahead and put you down here real quick. Your skill in rifle weapons is now 17. That is pretty dang sweet, if I do say so myself. But I'm going to go ahead and get some wood. we got plenty of time before the Horde Knight starts, and I'm kind of to the point where I'm just doing stuff, you know, to get ready for it. So let's get some trees. All right, that's enough to get started. Uh, we didn't need a ton, and we got a lot of wood on us now. So pretty much all we're going to do now is just kind of hang out and wait for the horde to get started and go ahead and gather up all the stuff I need. I need to run around and do a little bit more cleanup of some of this crap just because it's nasty and free nitrate and all that other stuff. Um, make sure we got plenty of food and water to last through the night. Uh, let's see. I do have all my cobblestone with me that I did have, which is a decent chunk. So I should be okay as far as make... I can make some more cobblestone if I need to. You can literally craft it yourself. Just cobblestone rocks, but clay soil and small stones, which I have ample amounts of. And we can use that as repairs. Use the concrete to do repairs and stuff too. But anyway, that's all I'm going to do for now is just kind of tidy up some of the nasty bits laying around here. And get all my crap ready. And that's pretty much it. So uh, we'll pick back up here in just a bit when the horde gets ready to start up. Well, all right, guys. There's the bell. It is time. Also, uh, I forgot to do it, but fortunately I remembered here to put some barbed wire there. Unfortunately, I just made this. Oh, hell, what the? What is that thing? Something's on fire already. So I made standard barbed wire because I completely forgot about it. What is that? Radiated disturbed. Oh, okay, so it's just a radiator. Hang on. I, I, got, I got something that probably hurt that a little bit more than. Lay down, dude. Okay, so. They're definitely doing... He's doing something. I, oh, God. Cops are already here. Damn you, sir. Stop it. Okay. All right. So, we're, we're starting off strong at the moment. We need to get... Oh, crap. Okay. This is... Uh, this, oh, somebody died. I see a Night Stalk already. So, the tourists aren't going to shoot at those. If we can get rid of the radiated dude just so things stop glowing. There's Jiggles. Nice. Okay, all right, Night Stalker. Okay, so those iron bars, they don't have a ton of durability, but they will slow them down at least for a couple minutes. Hopefully. Long enough for me to be able to get a couple shots in. Like I said, I know the Night Stalkers don't get tar targeted by Sledgy here, so if he does happen to hit all, or, you know, they do happen to get all the way up here, they're not going to do anything to them. But at least the rest of them, maybe, if they get up here, they will do some work here. Oh, I think, oh, damn cops again. Stop it. I've never seen those before they puke at me, and by the time that vomit's on its way, it's kind of hard to, you know, do anything about it here. I've only got three Molotovs, so I'm really trying not to use those until I absolutely have to. If you can stay out of the line of... Oh, man. You better not... Oh, you blew... Did you blow up one of my blocks? I don't think so. Okay. There, it's concrete blocks, so one cop shouldn't destroy those. I just need to really pay attention. Actually, let me double check. Go ahead and top you. Okay, you took a little bit of damage. Kind of top you guys off just in case things go terrible. Okay, all right. Another cop. Stay out of his line of sight long for us to reload. We got to get some headshots in on Chunky Butt there before he has a chance to explode. Don't explode, man. Don't do it. All right, so we know that the different zombies come in different waves, so we got to make sure that when the, uh... Damn you... Oh, dude, she just got launched. <laughs> that was pretty awesome. Uh, we know it comes in waves, so basically once the, uh... The first wave's done, I think then we have to deal with the animals, but the idiots up top don't shoot any of the animals, so it doesn't really help us too much. All right, so having the bars here, that might force them to kind of accidentally fall off a lot, which if they have to run in a circle, is fine with me. 
I realized that I need to find myself uh, like an AK, which I looked at my chest and I could have swore I had one, but apparently I don't. And if I do, I don't know where it's at. Maybe it's in the wrong place. That wouldn't be unlike me at all to put that there. Okay, what what time is it? It is 11 o'clock. We're doing okay. Gonna keep an eye out. There's Big Mama and Sylvia. Sylvia's down. Okay, so maybe having that extra trader right over there is helping out. Another Yeti. So far, so good. They haven't made it past the first set of bars yet. The only damage I've taken is from the cops so far. Oh, I was about to say there's another freaking cop right there. Oh, yeah, he's got his head stuck in the bars. Way to go, idiot. I see some cracks in the pavement down there because the cops have blown up. If I... Oh, crap, there's a cop right there. Don't do it, chunky butt. Carl, don't you do it, man. Come on, traitors. Shoot him in the head. Don't do it, man. Oh, he, he tried to... Hang on, we switched to a better weapon here. Oh, wrong guy. Where'd Carl go? We need to, we need to keep him from blowing up. Oh, dang it, y'all are doing some damage to my blocks. Carl, where'd you go? Is that your fault? Don't do it, man. There we go. All right, he pooped out a bag. Um, the last time, because things went horrible, we didn't get a chance to get very many bags. Uh, get rid of Sylvia, because she can heal the others. I see Jiggles is about to slip right on up out of her top, but you know what? No hate. You need to stay down, girl. I love you, but, you know, not that much. We really need to keep out... What are you? Uh, I forgot to move those frames there, but they can't really do this. What the hell did you get up there? Girl in heels got some ups, man. What did you... Hang on. What did you jump on? What is wrong with your head? Mutated blood. Oh, okay. We got a mutant here. That's cool. I mean, I don't know exactly what you are. Oh, you just got the click. You got some life on you, though. That's okay. Stop. I don't know what you're doing, but can you go around the other direction? Like all the rest of the normal people are? What is your malfunction, sir? Oh, you got the click again. Did you finally give it up and decide to go the right way? Oh, mutated uh, Sylvia. Big Mama's been at a rave lately. Alright. Let's see. This needs some bigger bullets real quick for some of these guys. are getting some of the, the chunkier ones in here. Need a little bit of stopping power. And be throwing wet noodles at these guys. If we get a small little reprieve, I need to peek up over the top of this and see if I can't repair a block or two. I might be able to from a distance. Hang on, do I see some vomit down there? I'm gonna make sure we don't have a cop trying to. What the hell? What are you. Don't fall down there, dude. Oh, it's a, just a feral tourist that's glowing in the dark. He's a radiated, feral, mutated, a hole tourist. Okay. Dude, did y'all mess up the pathing? Crap, what did y'all do? Hang on, I gotta I gotta go see what's going on here. Did y'all knock down the steps, didn't you? Alright, crap. Let me see if I can get over here. No, steps are here. Let me uh, see if I can't top off some of this real quick. The steps are there. What are y'all doing? Go ahead and do this real quick. This is getting brave or stupid. One of those two. You'd be surprised how often those overlap here. Okay, so the bars are a little bit damaged, but they're okay. We can kind of... Bebop along here. We're probably going to get hit by this. Put you right there like this. There we go. See, that's called planning ahead. I'm saying that as if I'm confidently happy that all of that worked out. I don't know what they're doing. The path is working. I don't know where you are going now. There, Look, there's a path right over there. Unless somehow another they blew a hole in the wall. Oh, crap. Alright, we're going to have to use our first one here. We need to stop this little party from getting a little bit out of hand here. Alright, so they're all on fire. That's not going to kill all of those guys here. All right, so let's, uh... They're starting to work on the base a little bit. I don't know what happened with the pathfinding down there, but they're definitely making me work for it here. We're past, mid we're past midnight. That's at least good. If I can survive in the base long enough to make it past midnight, then I feel okay. Okay. I don't know. There's something up with the pathfinding. I... Oh, it's because that block is missing right there. Crap. Okay. Uh, let's see. I might be able to... Maybe I can... Maybe I can do this here. Okay, I, I see what's going on here. Uh, can I reach all the way there? Let me see. Let me do it like this. There we go. And that that's what happened. Okay, so that threw off their pathfinding. Put you like that. Can top you off. There there we go. That. Whoops. I didn't mean to do that. Or that. Okay. There we go. Now they're... Oh, crap sickles. Okay. 
We're okay. We're okay. This is probably easier than doing it the other way anyway. Y'all go back to the other side here. You don't follow me. Okay, so we lost a block there, but we're okay. All right, we're back to we're back to normal now. Let's see, Big Mama, go ahead and set you on fire, just because it's fun. We got some flaming bolts here. We should probably use those. Oh, Sylvia died with her head in the, um, the stocks here. Go ahead and set you on fire too. Okay, all right, that's what the problem was. They blew up that block right there in the corner here. I should have upgraded a little bit further, but it's okay. Uh, we're all right now. We still they still got the set of bars they have to get through. They haven't even damaged the barbed wire over on that side yet. Sarge, you're discharged as well. I don't even care if I end up using all of these bolts just because I have them just sitting in my chest, not doing anything. Football players here. All right. Okay. All right. We lost a set of bars. They still have to stop to hop on them, but it's okay. We knew that they were going to go down. All right. Sid's over here making a mess of things. Sarge. Ah, oh, you almost made it. Big Mama, shoot her right in the butt. She went down. That's a bar. That's a zombie bear. Can we shoot him? And set him on fire. Oh, there's a cop, too. We need to set him on fire. Oh, crap. Okay. Bears have a lot of health. Don't. Bears have a lot of health. There's a Night Stalker there. We need some of the wisdom knockback for this bad boy. Oh, that's the wrong button. Is that two bears? Oh, son of a monkey. Need you to die real quick, sir. Okay, all right. Um, tell you what, we should probably use a Molotov on the bears and the radiated dogs. Oh crap! Okay, the dogs die and they explode. They die they're just like the cops do. So we're on the animals, so we're not getting any more help from the traders. That's fantastic. Crap. Uh, uh, don't do it, dog. Okay, so he went down. Rest of the dogs, I'm okay with. Ah, the glowing ones suck. And that's why. I'm going to go ahead and see if we can't cook a little bit more of them. All right. Our marksman rifle does pretty decent damage. It's a high-level one, and it gives us a better aim here. These bears are going to cause some problems. But I need to get... Oh, there we go. Come on, dude. I need you to give it up. Stop lunging when I'm shooting at you. You're making me miss. I hear some birds up there, too. Yep. There's one right there. Come on in. Hopefully those spikes are, you know, slowing you down enough. Not causing any problems. All right. Animal waves always suck. See? That's why, because there's a bird. Actually, there's probably a couple birds right there. But I need to get rid of this Night Stalker here. Thank you. There we go. Whew. Okay. If we have to try and outrun a bear, things are going to get a little bit, a little bit dicey. Okay. We're down to the crappy ones now, for sure. All right. Uh... Can't really set a bear on fire. They don't really burn that good. Even with all that hair, we just wasted a bolt. Ow. Okay. Can you not? You know what? Just in case, I'm going to go ahead and use one of these. Get the health back up. See, I'm going to use some painkiller. Subs out with damage mitigation just in case. And also just in case, I'm going to use some coffee. Keep the stamina regen up in case I have to, you know, vamos. Uh, let's see. I did bring some grenades. Uh, these, let's see, maybe I get lucky. Those don't do too much block damage. Oh, nice. That was, that was nice right there. Yeah, it was. I'm happy with how that worked out. All right, so they're trying to get up and around, but they keep falling off of things. This first set of bars is definitely making it a challenge for these idiots. Except for these idiots right here. He's not having any problems at all. Okay, I, I, sh I spoke a little bit too soon. Okay, get rid of the Night Stalker. Get rid of the bear. Okay, bear went down. Dude, would you stop with the whole bobbing thing? Alright, we're back with Sid again. He's having some difficulties, but it's... Oh, nice. Okay, so he got... There we go. See, it's working. I'm, yeah! See, I knew it would work from where it's at. Hang on, I need to... Upgrade you just a little bit. Make sure. Okay, so make sure you're good. Make sure these blocks are okay in case somebody. Oh, hang on. That one took a little bit of damage. That one's a little bit low. These are these are okay. You're okay, and you're okay. All right. Let's keep going here. When you get everything reloaded, while we have a small little breather. A small little breather. There's still a bear right there. Oh, we shot him in the face. Let's see if we can't. Uh, oh, we got two bears again. Maybe that'll blow his butt open. 
<laughs> well, it got the dog, if nothing else. Oh, I love that. You stupid birds, could you chill the hell out for half a second? Ah, oh, you suck. Where are we at on time here? Uh, it's 2.30 in the morning. We're doing, we're doing okay. All right, this guy made it over the first... Oh, okay, so they do target those. It's just not really doing... They don't have any knockback. And why aren't you setting him... Oh, yeah, they don't set on fire either. Holy crap. That's a chunk of bears now. Maybe. I'm just going to throw another one because there's a lot of bears there. Oh, yeah, that was beautiful. All right, we're going to go ahead and use another one because bears suck. And dogs suck, too. Okay, so they don't have a ton of life left. Get rid of the radiated dogs if we can before they blow up. We don't want to ruin any pathfinding. Oh, you got the click. It's okay. Ew, somebody just blew up. Oh, you didn't damn... Okay, so you didn't ruin the pathfinding. Bears are still trying to climb up here. Unfortunately, they do suck a little bit at... Climbing paths here. Come on, dog. Die on my terms. There you go. Night Stalkers are freaking... They just bounce so much, man. Another... I thought I killed him, man. Y'all better not have messed up the pathfinding. Okay, so now it's working like it should have last time. Dude. Gotcha. Okay, where are we at? It's 3 o'clock in the morning. Okay, I hear a wolf. Hey, did we get anything good? Might as well check it, right? Oh, there's another bear. Some more ammo. That's not bad, considering. Bears suck. Did that one die? That one died. Okay, all right. So the shotgun does not have that great a range from there. Let's see. We can switch over to the Winchester. It does pretty decent damage. The bear seems to be kind of stuck a little bit. Sid, you can just eat a whole bag. An entire satchel of Richards. A buffet of Richards, if you will. Alright, so, other than just making sure that we get all the barbed wire and stuff in there, and a lot more wood spikes, so far, so good. I do hear a wolf, but I'm really not concerned about those unless I fall down there. Don't die, don't explode. Y'all are doing your thing. Y'all really need to stop blowing up down there. I'm glad I upgraded those a little bit, though. Okay. We're doing okay. We haven't had to retreat to the other base yet, so even if we do at this point, we still did good. We haven't had anything bad show up yet. I know that there's demons. I know that there's all kinds of bad things. Did that bear finally die? Would you die already, sir? Okay, I think he's dead now. Night Stalker right there. Okay, so is the pathfinding messed up? Uh-oh. Uh, let me see what's going on here. What are y'all shooting at? Let me, uh... Let me see what's going on here. Why am I crouching, you stupid? Okay, so they're making their way downtown. Uh, I'm guessing the pathing got broke somewhere. I need to see what happened. Another dang bear. That's not good. That's not good at all. Okay, so let me see what happened. Oh, crap. There it is. I move your stupid head out of the way here. Okay, y'all just need to fall off of here real quick. Crap, I'm gonna get hit. I'm gonna get hit. Oh, the stupid birds are coming at me, man. Uh oh, son of a biscuit. Okay, we're we've almost made it till four. Uh, my arm's broken. A cast will help. Can I use a plaster cast? That's why I made one. Ha <laughs> ha! Screw you guys. It's almost four, so things will stop spawning in and stop running at me. I still have to kill everything, but... Okay, so we definitely need to increase our bridge a little bit. We made it till morning and we didn't die. We could still die, but right at the moment we're not dead and everything is done spawning in. Get rid of this bear. Um, I think I really need to spend some time upgrading the bottom of this base just in case. Looks like they're digging a nice little tunnel down there. But it's okay, and I need to get a whole lot more Molotovs and stuff. Wait, hang on. I can go... I do have a couple flaming ones. See if I can do this without setting myself on fire. Uh, 
That kind of hurt him just a little bit. Okay, let me uh, do this. Move you out of the way. Stop crouching. There we go. Like that'll work out a little bit. Switch it back over to shotgun. Can y'all not? Oh, hell, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Whew. Oh, would you see that? Something stupid almost happened. How about we don't do the stupid things? He's laughing at me. Did y'all hear that? What? Hang on, am I too far away? Is that is that why that's not activated now? Yeah, okay. I want to make sure it didn't get broken or something. Where is this idiot at? I don't have enough life to jump down there and do something tragic yet, so I gotta I gotta try and find him. You die. Level 39! Guys, we did it. We freaking survived. Oh, okay, so obviously this was a problem right here. They they went ahead and messed up the uh, pathfinding a couple times. It's not it's not that big a deal. They did. I'm out of concrete and stuff there. It's okay. If I could have fixed that, that would have actually got them back to where they were going here. But let, let's go ahead and see what kind of spoils of war we got. Has my mask? Nice. I think I actually have everything except that. So if I ever need it, which I'm assuming I probably will, then we have it. Another rocket, which I don't have a rocket launcher, more flaming crossbow bolts, which we only use on Horde Knight, so that's not bad. Ooh, what do we have here? An AR-15 semi-auto rifle. I was just talking about that. What are you? A coil pistol. Ooh, I've heard people talking about that. Is it like an energy weapon? They did some work to the bottom of the base here. Another wheel and some spikes I can sell. A uh, schematic for marksman rifle. Can sell. Uh, check it out. There's the AK right there and some chest armor. Okay, so yeah, y'all did some. Holy crap, y'all did some work. Just in case, I need to go ahead and <laughs> kind of uh, top some of this off real quick, just in case you know gravity decides to kick in and be like, um, hey, by the way, your base should have fallen and we just forgot. We'll go ahead and collapse it right now. Wood frames is not going to do a lot, but it's better than absolutely nothing. Put one there and one there. And one right there. Okay, that'll at least keep it from falling apart. Let's keep looking around for loot bags. I'm so glad we died. We didn't have to resort to our backup base. We got hit by some birds. We got hit by some cops. Pretty much the normal things we got hit by. We fell off maybe twice. I don't know. I'm not keeping count. And hopefully you weren't either. I think that's all the bags, though. I'm not seeing where they're not. They're really not dropping much. <laughs> They're just kind of stingy with the loot. Let me get up a little bit higher and double check. The bars did pretty good about slowing them down. If I, I don't think I can upgrade those anymore. But maybe by next time what I can do is I can get some electricity in here. Those exploding a-holes is some of the problems with any of this. But we survived. That's the big thing. I just need to stop jumping so my freaking arm will... Wait... Yeah, I was about to say, jumping should not hurt my arm, but, you know, things have happened. Appreciate you traders over there. Thank you for the assistance. I uh, wish you would shoot some of the animals. That would be fantastic. But there you have it, guys. We survived. We survived well. So, if you enjoyed the video, which I hope you did, then leave a like on it. If you're new here, make sure you subscribe if you're not already so you don't miss out on future videos. And in the meantime, you guys have a wonderful day, and I'll talk to you later.